Hello, I will be on in just a second. Hi. How's everyone doing? <clears throat> Where did I put my paint on? That's not my book. That's not in there either. Let me get this other thing going too. Everyone doing well, I hope. My hair is jacked today, but it's because I'm too lazy to actually do it. Oh well, there we go. That's what it's gonna be. <clears throat> Hi Beatrice. 
Hi, Maria. Let me see. Yay, good to hear that you're doing well. Let me see. Hi, Hiba. Hiba, Hiba. Let's see what's happening here. I'm going on my Instagram. That's what I'm doing. Medium Michael Mayo. Yep, that's it. Um, how do I go live again? I forget. Oh, yeah, I do that. Hey, Timothy, how's it going? Okay, here we go. Right. Let's put that there. All righty. Okie dokie. Hi, everyone. Um, I hope everyone is well. I hope we are all living and doing beautiful things in the world and uh, really taking care of ourselves because that's like my new mantra is basically take care of yourself, take care of yourself, take care of yourself. That's really one of the biggest things that I know is, is vital to my existence right now. So I hope you all are doing that. I, I was joking with Eileen the other day on the phone and I was telling her, I think I'm going to get a badge and I think I'm going to get it and wear it on my arm. And it's going to be the self-care monitor because Lord knows, everybody knows what self-care is. Everyone has an idea of what it is. But I don't feel like people really do the things. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll get to that. I'll get to that. But there's always something else that comes up. <clears throat> and I think that that's one of the biggest challenges that people face with all of this is, is not taking care of themselves. And... What, I, what I've really learned over this little journey, for those of you who've kind of been watching or, or keeping up at all with, with my own journey uh, just recently, uh, dealing with stress and anxiety and all kinds of things like that, um, well, I can tell you, one, I'm a lot better. Things have gotten so much better. Why? Because I started taking care of myself better. I made my wellness uh, a priority. And uh, one of the things I noticed, too, is when we don't have our um, when we don't have our resources full, so we don't have something within ourselves that is nice and full, and we because we've been taking care of ourselves, because we've been giving ourselves the things that we need, what ends up happening is that's when we run out of resources. So we don't have anything for anyone else, including ourselves, because we were ignoring uh, our own needs first. So <clears throat> what I have noticed um, is since I've really changed the way I function in the daytime and uh, with people, I've really made my own well-being a, a huge priority. And so I'm going to encourage all of you to do that. Um, figure it out what it is that you do that makes you feel good, that makes you feel joyful and happy and uh, like a kid again, and what does it mean to not just focus on what has to get done, but what actually makes you feel joy and happy? For me, obviously, spirit is a huge part of that, um, but I realized, uh, like I said last time in my other video, I realized that's not enough. Like, I can do that, and that's taking care of one side of me, but what about the other sides of me? What about my physical well-being? What about my emotional well-being? What about my mental well-being? All those things are also super important. Um, to to be mindful of. So I want to pose a question to all of you. <clears throat> what kinds of things do you do um, that you do to take care of yourself? And I will wait. I am actually looking for responses this time. What are the things that you do to take care of yourself? In what ways do you take care of yourself? Hello, everyone who is watching. If I haven't seen your name yet, this is Hot Tea. I'm literally waiting for you guys to, to write something and say hi. Hi, Anthony. <clears throat> okay, so I see I got Epsom salt baths and nature. Very good. Oh, I got walks every day. Um, the reason I'm throwing this out here is because I didn't really know what I did anymore. I knew when I traveled what I did for fun, but I didn't know what I did to take myself 
uh, to, you know, to care for myself. So I'm trying to just kind of create an opportunity for those of you who maybe don't do something on a regular basis for yourself. Um, but Epsom salt baths, bomb. Any kind of soak in water, that's amazing, especially with the salt water. Um, nature, that has been one of the biggest um, things that I have done. In fact, I was at the, uh, the Tribuco Canyon Monastery, the Vedanta Society, uh, here in Orange County. And I, hey, Johnny. And I was um, I was chilling there, and they have a mon like a, a meditation room that has been used for meditation for many many years. It's amazing power and energy. And as I was sitting there, I, I mediumistically became aware of this Indian gentleman, and uh, he greeted me with such warmth and and love and all of this. And um, he told me that I had too much air, and that I needed to get more wood. Uh, was specifically what he said. I take that to mean nature, to, to be grounding with the trees and all of that sort of thing. And, um, you know, not to be airy fairy about it, just, but remember, like, what is our being? What is our uh, essence as a human being? We function in nature. That's actually what, uh, like an essential part of what we need. And I find that walking in nature, being in nature, it just does something to you, whether that's the beach, whether that's, you know, the woods, whether that's somewhere around you, to do that really, really helps uh, to kind of like bring yourself back into the present moment and back into the sense of calm and peace. And so I really recommend for anyone who has access to nature around them. Just take the time, even if it's 10 minutes. Someone else said walk every day. <clears throat> that is such a good one. Walking every day is so, so helpful. If there's, if there's no other exercise that you do, giving yourself a 10 minute walk, I like to do a 30 minute walk, but giving yourself a 10 minute walk, it just clears your brain. It just clears your mind. Uh, and I think that that's super important. So if Physical exercise, especially for those of you who are mediumistic or those of you who work in the spiritual realm, we oftentimes forget our physical well-being. It often gets put to the back seat. It oftentimes, because we're sitting, we're meditating, we're doing this kind of thing, physical exercise is key. So whether that's yoga, that's something that I've done that has really, really helped, something else, uh, uh, you know, I just really, really uh, emphasize that. Um, I try to eat well, says Maria. Um, very, very good. That's absolutely such a great choice because if you're putting good things in your body, your body's going to respond respond well to that. Uh, and yep, so Timothy says some exercise, meditate. I think someone else says, I meditate every day. I have gratitude while I walk. Beautiful. Those are absolutely amazing things. In fact, there is is science, which I can't quote here because I didn't look it up ahead of time. There is science that, that supports the well-being of, of individuals and the changes in the the chemicals that are released in your body when we um, have gratitude. Gratitude is a very unique feeling that actually changes the chemistry of our body and how we work. Um, so having gratitude is so important, being thankful for the things that you have. Um, it's a very different feeling because when we're hoping for something, there's a little bit of that tension, there's a little bit of that uh, desire, that sort of thing. Um, for those of you who may be dealing at all with anxiety or have issues with that sort of thing, another thing that's really helpful is uh, probiotics. So there's a couple of different probiotic um, strains, which I'm sure you can Google, because I don't know them, something, something, something. Yeah, that was me knowing what they were. Uh, there's a couple of different ones that are supposed to help with mood as well. Uh, ashwagandha is also a really good herb that also helps as well. But, you know, find out what works for you. That's the key. It's something that is easy to incorporate into your life, something that you don't feel stressed that you have to go do. Um, but when you are really kind of in the middle of all of, you know, the stress and tension and, and all of that sort of thing, it's so important to find what it is that works for you. The crazy part for me was when I couldn't even meditate because I was my brain was just too much. So I had to kind of figure out, okay, what else can I do? What else can I do to bring myself back into uh, a state of wellness? And it took time. It took it took a few days before I even started to feel the change um, there. So don't let yourself get to where I got. <laughs> don't don't let don't wait until your body's like no no. But seriously, you need to like chill. Because um, all I do is work. I mean, that's all I was doing. Now that's not the case. Now I'm going around. I'm doing fun things. Um, but anyway, so let me see who else. Hi, Travis, if you are watching. Hey, Jen. 
Deepa, for me, make it a point to get together with close friends. Absolutely. And just share what you're going through, whatever it is, then let your friend do so. A uh, sense of connection, connection and support is so important. Oh my gosh, so true. I find that like when, for me personally, whenever I am getting stressed or whatever, I can isolate a lot. Like, cause I'm just like, no, no, I just have to focus on what I'm doing. Uh, and so there's a tendency to isolate and that sort of thing. So really reconnecting with your, those who you love, someone who brings you joy. Um, and I think that's really something to pay attention to is like, who brings joy? Who brings happiness to my life? Who makes me feel um, that sense of peace and that sense of joy or ease, ease? Because really there's so many things that like go into uh, any kind of like anxiety and self-care and that sort of thing. And a lot of it actually leads you to this sense of uh, your own mental thoughts and how you respond to different things. Uh, so that's super important to become aware of is, is what that is. Um, <clears throat> Another thing too, affirmations are good, just like listening to them. Uh, and another key thing too that I really, really like was um, making it a point that for the first 30 minutes when I wake up, uh, I don't check work stuff. I don't look at anything. I don't look at text messages. I don't look at anything. And I make that time about me. And so I'll use that time just to get myself into the right frame of mind. So whether that's listening to some affirmations, whether that's uh, doing yoga in the morning, which is something I do now every every morning pretty much. Um, so if I feel, you know, yoga is like key. I know yesterday or something was like International Yoga Day. Yoga. And I'll tell you, you don't even have to have a yoga little pass thing, okay? You, you have... Um, uh, da, 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 da. you can do it online do it online in your own house um there's a great uh yoga person online uh yoga with adrian if anyone has ever watched any of her videos she has videos for everything and they vary in length uh and she's all about um whatever feels good whatever works for you um finding a position that works really really good so Something I definitely recommend. But the whole reason I'm actually even talking about any of this is just because I want to give those of us, because so many people deal with, um, yeah, exactly, Tracy. It's super helpful. No work things first. That's so helpful just to give yourself a second to kind of build the day the way that you want to. Put in the words and the feelings and the focus of what it is you would hope for your day to be. Um, even if it's something simple of just feeling peace, even if it's just, you know, being mindful of the breath. Mindfulness is such a big thing as well. Super helpful. Uh, so anyway, but the whole point I'm telling it, uh, talking about all of this is just because I feel like when you're in the midst of any kind of anxiety or, you know, stuff like that, it's hard to remember what it is I should do to take care of me, I think. I mean, maybe that was just me, but perhaps some of you also can feel that. It's like, what is it that I like to do uh, that's going to help me with, with that sort of thing? So just wanted to make a little, this section of this video, just so that people have a resource so they can try these things. And honestly, there's something in your, that happens in your mentality when you do something that is just for you, when it's just for you to take care of you because that's what you feel like doing. Because even if you don't feel like doing it, when you're doing something mindfully, that I'm doing this because this is something that my body needs, and you treat yourself as how you would treat someone else. Because I know there's the old, you know, the saying of treat people the way you want to be treated, but also treat yourself the way you want to be treated. That's like super important. You have to be able to treat yourself well, otherwise you're going to be uh, not well, not doing very good. So something really, really important. Um, other things, other things. So, uh, other things I wanted to mention. Um, we, we're doing mediumship online now. Uh, so on Thursdays we have uh, the mediumship development class, which we had our first one this last week on Zoom. Amazing. It was so fun. I absolutely loved it. I was amazed that we could still feel the power as well, the the connection. I mean, I knew that you could do readings and stuff, but even just sitting in the power together as a group was incredible, uh, so powerful. And I was like, wow, this works online too. That's crazy. Which obviously I know mentally, but to have to actually experience that like as we moved into the power, I just felt the sense of the power and the spirit just coming over. And I was like, wow, that's pretty impressive. So 
very excited about that. So I highly recommend uh, anyone who's interested in working and developing, if I have enough people that are in a different time zone um, that requires an earlier time period, I will make a second class. So there'll be one at like 10 in the morning and then one at 7 Pacific Standard Time. Uh, that way for people in the UK or, or you know Europe and, and also East Coast and stuff may be able to join in if it's a little bit late for them otherwise. So something to, to know and to think about. Um, that's a really good thing. What else is good things that are coming? I don't know. I don't know if I have that many good things to, to mention that are coming. Um, Let's see. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't think I have anything right now as far as awesome or exciting, you know, opportunities and things like that. But definitely check out that online class because it's going to be awesome. Um, let's see. I was just with James yesterday. Uh, I was at his house for quite a while. Um, <coughs> and we had such a fun time just hanging out, just chilling. Very beautiful place, very pl lovely place to relax and just hang out. Um, see, and that's the thing, James has really gotten that whole thing down of creating a space that is really for his well-being, for his benefit. Um, he's got gardens, he's got all kinds of things, gorgeous, gorgeous property, uh, fountains, water, you know, everything you need, and that's like his safe haven. So, you know, not all of us are going to have giant gardens and fountains and all that sort of thing, but we may have um, a tiny little space in our in our own house. Hi, Janie. Uh, a tiny little space in our own house where, where that's that that's a space for us. I was reading uh, one of the books that I'm, that I'm reading. Just like we have a kitchen to cook food, just like we have, uh, you know, a table to eat at, we have a living room to watch TV or whatever it is that we do. We should also have a place of like stillness and rest. Thankfully in our house, my roommate and I, uh, we have a healing room, meditation room, that's where I see we see all our clients. Um, so we're lucky in that way. So, But even if it's just a corner of a room that you make like a special spot, like this is the place for me to rest, not sleep, but just rest and find peace. Uh, I think that's also super, something super important. So just things to think about regarding your wellness, your well-being, that sort of thing. Um, da, 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 any any questions for me? Anything about anything? Mediumship, your own development, um, literally anything. Because I, I got, what, like seven more minutes. So anything you want to know about, you can ask as far as mediumship goes. Unless there isn't any. And then I can just let you all go and have a lovely, beautiful day. Um, feel free to let anyone else know in the comments uh, of any questions or comments or things that you're wondering about, want to know about. Um, and then, yeah, I think that's it. I think I'm just gonna leave it there. So sending you all lots of love wherever you are. Uh, I hope that you're taking care of yourself so that the self-care monitor doesn't have to come over and write you a ticket and or a prescription. Um, so I just hope that you all are doing very well, wherever you are, and just going to send you lots and lots of love. Alrighty, talk to you later. Bye.